Hey guys, CV Super. Today I'm going to show you how to take a single polygon vector file and give it a little bit of animation. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, here I am inside of DaVinci Resolve. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down a brand new Fusion composition and I'm going to jump straight over to Fusion. In Fusion, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in a regular background and I'm going to drop it into my media pool just so I set the resolution because I am going to be bringing in a vector file and I don't want to mess it up. Instead of black, I'm actually going to change it to white because I know that my vector file is actually used using a black background. So in order to import an SVG file, I'm gonna come over to Fusion, come down to the import section and use the SVG. You can also use shapes, but I tend to use SVG. Now it's gonna ask me, where do I want to import my file? You'll notice that when I actually downloaded this file, it downloaded it as an AI file, which is an Adobe Illustrator file. So I did have to go into Adobe Illustrator and then resave it as an SVG file in order to use it inside of DaVinci Resolve. The file is right next to it. I'm gonna go ahead and double click. It's gonna ask me the height and width. I'm just gonna say, okay. It's usually better at picking that than I am. I usually forget what file size it actually wants. I'll go ahead and double click on this group and you'll notice that there is only two tools in there. There is a polygon node and a background node. Now, if I load that into the viewer, it is correct and it looks pretty good. It looks like the version that I saw before I downloaded it. If I click on the polygon, you'll notice that there is a ton of points inside of this polygon. It's not the best way to work. In fact, it's a little bit more difficult to actually animate it because I would have to move all of these individual points. But I'm gonna show you a really easy way to get around that. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this group and I'm gonna come up to ungroup because I don't really like to work inside of a group. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, I'm gonna just move it over and I'm gonna click on this polygon and there's one thing that I actually wanna do before I start playing around with the actual points. I wanna add maybe one point right here in the next section just so it makes it a little bit easier when I start to cut up and duplicate this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the insert and modify T. You can also use command control I. And I'm just gonna add a point right here. I'm actually gonna delete this other point right next to it just because I don't necessarily need that point there. And I'm also gonna shift S this one right here just to smooth that one out. Now I got it just the way that I want. Now I'm gonna come into the polygon. I'm just going to duplicate it by command C, command V, and the background, instead of doing just a command C, command V, I'm actually going to hit command C and shift command V in order to create an instanced background of this background. That way, if I change the color later, it will also change the color of this other background. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename these. I'm gonna use F2 on my keyboard, and I'm just gonna name this first one body, and the second polygon, I'm gonna name this one head. And I'm only gonna separate it into two pieces, but if you wanted to, you could separate the hands, you could separate the feet, you could even start to separate the tail, maybe even the wings. You'd separate all of these parts to get more animation than just moving the head around. I'm only gonna animate the head because it's really simple and I want this video to be under 10 minutes. All right, so over on the head side, I'm just going to get rid of all of the polygons that are not in the head. So it's pretty easy to do. All you gotta do is come over here. You can select a lot of the polygons. You can come up and you can either use this delete points key or you can use the actual delete button on your keyboard. So I'm just going to select all of these and I'm just going to use the delete button on the keyboard until I get to the point where I want the actual joint to be. All right, so this is as far as I wanna go. I would like this to be a rounded joint, so I'm gonna modify this just a little bit. To move this tangent handle by itself, I'm gonna hold the Command key, and I'm just gonna move it a little bit so it's a little more rounded, something like that, just so it's gonna be sort of a rounded joint. I wanna come over to the body, and I wanna do the exact same thing just by getting rid of some of these points, getting rid of all of the head points here. And now if I select both of these, you can see that this area right here is where it is connected to. So I'm actually not gonna need this point right here on the body section. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And now when I select both of them, you'll see that this is the exact part that I want to keep. So I'm just going to minimize this just a little bit, just so it's a little bit more rounded around the point that I want it to be rounded. Something like this. And maybe I will shift S this one and bring this point in just a little bit. Something like that. All right, now I need to merge the head on top of the body. Now, in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the output of the head and I'm gonna drop it on the output of the body's background. And then I'm gonna take this merge and I'm gonna see what it looks like together. Now, you'll notice that I do have a little lump there and that is because I got a little bit carried away. Let me go ahead and maybe smooth this out, push it a little bit forward just so it's a little less lumpy there. And I'm gonna do the same with the head. Head looks okay. I think maybe this body, shift S this and then smooth that out just a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. You will have to do a little bit of work when you create these joints. 
and that's just part of the game. It's not really a big deal because you're not having to recreate an entire animatable character. You're just cutting parts of the character off that you want to animate and you're creating joints using a pivot. So let's go ahead and create the pivot. So after the head background combo, I'm gonna go ahead and shift space to bring up the tool select and I'm gonna type in XF to bring in a transform node. Now with the transform node, I'm gonna want this pivot point to be up here in the joint area where the neck and the head meet. So I know it's right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this transform. I'm just gonna move this pivot out a little bit and then I'm gonna move it up to the spot right around here. Now let's go ahead and make sure that that's in the right area and it looks absolutely perfect. So now when I move this, you'll see that his head will now move. Now we do have a few errors right here where you can see like his little jugular there is still kind of moving. So we may have to come in here and see which side of the problem that's on and it looks like it's on this side. So let's go ahead and smooth this out a little bit like so and that should fix that problem as best we can. And we just wanna make sure that it looks good through the entire range of motion. And that looks pretty good. Maybe if it gets to this point right here, um, we may want to just extend this out bring it down a little bit and he can have a little bit of a jugular that so something maybe like that looks okay all right and that looks pretty good now we have a joint you can do this with all of the different parts of your dragon you don't have to do it with just the head I'm just gonna do the head for now and I'm gonna go ahead and click back into the original shape and that's just because I want it to finish at the original shape so let's come to maybe frame 60 and I'm gonna go ahead and key this angle right now and then I'm gonna come maybe forward to the beginning and I want him to start off maybe somewhere over here. And now you'll see that he will just move into that position and that will be the final position. So we're saying that frame 60, I want everything to freeze frame and then it's gonna go into the title reveal. And that's it. You can see how easy it is to animate a simple single polygon logo and you can give it just a little bit of animation just by duplicating it, cutting it up just a little bit and then giving it its own transform and then adding a pivot point in the right spot. Now you may have to tailor that joint up a little bit so you can control the points of deformation but once you get all that set up it's really easy to do now you can just take your dragon you can drop them onto your background i did a bunch of other things where i actually let's go ahead and add in a speed lines this is a cb speed lines it's just another tool that i made obviously this is going to need to be black so we're going to want to take this and we're going to bring it back and merge it on top of itself Another thing you can do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring in another transform in here just to give it a nice little shake. I'm gonna go ahead and come into the center, right click, I'm gonna modify this with a shake. It's obviously gonna start off, it's gonna be way too strong. So let's head on over to the modifiers. We wanna bring the mediums down quite a bit and you want them to be actually really close to each other. And I'm gonna turn the smoothness down quite a bit so it shakes really violently. Now we come over here, we can actually see what's taking place. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you're interested in seeing how I did the fire coming from the mouth, feel free to let me know down in the comments and that will be the next video. If otherwise, I'll just do something else, which I don't really know what it's gonna be just yet. Anyhow, if you guys liked this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys next week.